My name is Laurie, and today I'm going to talk about how to get a better sound on the French horn. Um, most of our sound production is due to good breath support. And so you want to take a good breath before you ever start. And most of your teachers, band directors, and such will recommend doing long tones. Now, long tones may sound boring, but they're essential. And so I would recommend a crescendo, day crescendo exercise where you take 12 counts and they have to be relatively slow and you start at your softest volume, get bigger around six and seven, and then day crescendo to a soft volume again. I'm gonna demonstrate that for you and then I'm gonna talk a little more about why that's so important. It takes a lot of control to start softly. So take that good breath and then begin. Okay, now you're going to discover kind of that area where your sound gets a little out of control. And that's why we're doing this exercise, because then you know when to back off. So that is a great thing to do. Another thing I want to talk to you about is resonance. Now singers do this all the time. They try to create as much space in the nasal cavity and in the mouth as they can, because the more space, the better the resonance. And the same thing works for an instrument. So keep your mouth open, not the lips, but the inside of your mouth open. I tell my students, pretend you have a ping pong ball there. You, you don't wanna crush the ping pong ball and you're keeping a nice open space as you play. And that will, that will definitely improve your tone quality. Some students get in the habit of playing with their teeth clenched. You want your teeth to be apart in a nice open space. Once again, my name is Laurie, and today I talked to you about getting a better sound on the French horn. Mm -hmm.